To turn the printer on, you'll flip a switch that's back here just in front of that blue cable. So if you reach back, flip the switch, plug our thumb drive into the blue cable, choose a filament from the bottom two shelves. Any of these filaments will work on these printers. Do not take filament from the top two shelves. Those are specialty filaments that require either a different printer or specialized settings. Take the filament out of the box and mount it on the spool holder so that the filament is coming over the top. You'll see the end is tucked into the side of the spool. That's to keep the filament from getting tangled on itself. So if I take it out of the side of the spool, you can see the filament is coming from the bottom and then over the top. Next, we'll feed the filament into the printer. We'll push it all the way through until we feel it stop. On the screen, if it's not at the home screen, you can change your menu selections by turning the wheel and then push to select. So I'm selecting back to go to the home screen. Then I'm moving over the menu options by turning the wheel until filament is highlighted. And I'm pushing to select that. Then scrolling down to load filament, press, scroll down to PLA, and press. When you hear the beep, we'll select continue and press. But with my other hand, I'm going to be pushing the filament up to ensure that it gets caught by a pair of gears in the back that will pull the filament. So I'll press continue and then give it a little push until I feel it catching. The printer will warm up. I can see the filament being pushed all the way through to the nozzle. And the message on the screen says, is the color correct? If you look closely, you can see that it's barely come out and the color is blue, it looks like. So that's the residue of whoever used the printer before. But it's not completely gray like my new color. I'm going to move the selector over to more and then press to select. And now you'll see that more filament will come out. And now the gray color is coming out. Now this time it says, is the color correct? And I'll leave it on yes and tap yes. Now I'll scroll up to return and press to select and then scroll back over to print and select. And I only have one file on this thumb drive. So that's the file I want to select. If I had more files, I would scroll down to the file that I want before I Start the print though, I'm going to use the tweezers to pull away the excess filament and throw it in the trash can. Now I will press to select and confirm that I want to print, yes. And the print will start. First the printer will measure the bed to make sure that it's level. Then it will park itself in the front corner and warm up and then it will start the print. The first thing it will do is lay a straight line across the front to make sure that the filament is moving nice and smoothly and then it will start printing the first layer of the model. After the first layer is done, the nozzle will rise up one layer thickness and then print the second layer and so on until the model is completely printed. I'm speeding up this portion of the video in the interest of keeping this tutorial as short as possible and the print is finished. The print bed itself heats up while the design is being printed. That helps to keep the print stuck to the print surface. Once the print bed cools down completely to room temperature, this model will just slide right off. If you don't want to wait for the bed to cool down completely, the bed is a flexible steel sheet held on with magnets that just comes right off. You can just flex the sheet and the model will pop off.
if it's stuck at all, you can use a spatula, lay the spatula flat down and just get underneath one of the edges of the print that will come up when you flex the sheet and just slide this straight down. Don't dig into the plate. You don't want to scratch the surface, um, but just slide the spatula in and twist it a little bit and the print will pop right off. You'll also notice that there's a line at the front that will just come right off. You can throw that in the trash. And the print bed goes back on and the magnets hold it in place. To remove the filament, we'll use the selector to go to the home screen, press to select, then scroll over to filament, scroll down to unload and select. The nozzle will heat back up and the filament will be pushed out the back. While we're waiting for that to happen, we can Use two hands, hold on to the end of the filament with one hand and use the snips to clip the filament at an angle. So there's a point there that will help the next person when they're feeding the filament into the printer. Make sure you're holding the filament tight and pass it through the side of the spool and pull until it's tight. Make sure there's enough length of filament outside the spool so that it doesn't uh, get pulled back in by itself into the center of the spool. So pull that nice and tight and put it back in the plastic container and put the container back under the shelf where you got it. While we were putting the spool away, we can see that the remainder of the filament was pushed out. So we can just pull that out and throw this remnant into the trash can. Then on the screen, We'll move over to select preheat, press, and then go all the way to the bottom where it says cool down, select cool down and press. And that will start the printer cooling down. You can see that the temperature of the nozzle is blinking blue. That means that it's cooling down. And we can see that the bed temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. So that's about room temperature. So what we can do now that the print bed is back down to room temperature is fold a piece of paper towel, spray it with rubbing alcohol, and then from the back to the front, pull the wet cloth over the print bed. Now we're doing this to get rid of dust, but more especially any greasy fingerprints or filament residue that's left on the print surface. We don't need to use glue or tape or any other adhesive to stick the print to the print bed. The heat will take care of that, but also the surface is a specially coated surface that helps the plastic stick to the print bed. And anything that comes between the print bed and the plastic uh, may cause the print to not adhere properly and it will come loose during your print. So make sure you clean the bed after each use and only clean it with rubbing alcohol after the print bed is cooled down. If you try to wipe rubbing alcohol on the bed while it's hot, it'll just evaporate immediately and it won't get clean that way. We're waiting for the nozzle temperature to reach 50 degrees Celsius or below. Once it reaches 50, it'll stop blinking and that will tell us that it's safe to turn off the printer. Notice that the nozzle is raised up and hanging out and the print bed is all the way forward. This is not the preferred way to leave the printer. So the last step will, is to scroll down to control and push to select and then scroll down to auto home. Make sure you don't accidentally go too far or not far enough. You wanna make sure that auto home is selected, then push the button. And what happens is the print bed will be moved all the way to the back and the print head will be moved all the way to the right and all the way down to the bottom. And to return home, just scroll up to return and press to select. The nozzle temperature has stopped blinking. Now we can reach to the side of the printer and flip the switch to turn it off. And don't forget to remove your thumb drive.